to round five of the National Cross Country Series at Cannock Chase. Here we go. And we're off. I failed to clip in my right side, but it's not a disaster. Things are looking up. Uh, I'm not going backwards. Well, not at the usual rate of uh, pace. But this is a slightly downhill, flattish start into a, a tight off camber right hander. Uh, and I thought stick to the right. Uh, because I didn't want to slip out on the outside but you know, I'm kind of holding my own I started 21st on the grid third, fourth row um, but I've lost a few places I have lost a few places but we yeah, we got a bit of a start loop uh, this is part of the main course uh, but it's sort of it's quite wide and it filters down into single track in a minute and I don't know why but there was my opportunity to get around a couple uh, but I'm thinking right, single track's about to start a little bit by here so let's not lose any more places somebody tries to get up on the left and I thought I'm just gonna try and keep as tight as I can to yellow and black uh, and just just keep pumping try and keep on the wheel we get he gets a bit wide here and I'm like oh don't follow him that much uh, try and keep your own game uh, and I'm just trying to keep up to the the bike in front because it's still a bit wide through here on the left is the, the tech feed and the pits where will was pitting for me again and gave me a bottle later in the race so thanks to will and i started right next to his father james on the on the grid and he was giving me a bit of advice on my well today i'm not running a dropper post so i'm trying to get used to riding without a dropper save a bit of weight uh, but the, the seat is about, oh, here goes another one, lose another space. Uh, just letting the wheel go a bit too much uh, and giving people behind the opportunity to come past. So I should have been right on the back of yellow and black. Uh, but these were a little bit of a drag, uh, but it's quite bumpy over the routes. And I think during the race I clipped out twice coming along here. So my wheels just got bounced off. Uh, and again, somebody else just tucks into me. I've got to get used to basically rubbing the wheel in front so I don't I don't allow that space to happen uh, and then we come into the tight twisty single track there was three a b lines this was the first a line and I kind of figured out there was a couple of little steep shoots and I got the saddle yeah about two inches 50 mil down on where ideally it would need to be but that just gave me enough room to get off the back of the saddle and maneuver it but obviously I lost a little bit of power on the on the uh, on the climbs but most of them were short sharp punchy climbs where I could get out the saddle anyway so it wasn't too bad but this was a fast let's call this the motorway section this was a well not on this lap but on the other laps it was a flat out blind bends just you know what's coming just open her up and then into this bit of a tight left hander before we kick up one of the climbs where I'm starting to think right let's start clawing back some of those places so it was uh, quite a good climb if you went offline then it was loose and you kind of spun out a bit so this guy went right and I thought right here we are up the left why is he why is he left the left and go he spun out and I'm just going to start clawing my way back through so I started 20th I probably lost another five or six places on the start so I'm in my head I'm thinking I'm, I'm mid 20 odd there's about 40 44 riders in all uh, so we got to start making up some places but this was a fun bone dry trail uh, track about three miles I think long we did six laps uh, and spoiler alert I managed all six in this one didn't have a trouble counting beyond five uh, after the Forest of Dean disaster but here we're about to see the second best move of the day Oh, I got my nose wiped by there into that corner. Uh, but yeah, he pulled off the two best overtakes I saw on the day, but he's about to get, almost got his comeuppance by her, where the guy in front just went around the logs and almost wiped his nose out. Uh, but yeah, that was a that was a killer, killer move. And we were about to see another one in a minute. But uh, yeah, he was doing really well. So I thought, right, he's a good wheel to follow. Let's get down here. Another climb. And it was kind of punchy, fast, single track into a few punchy climbs um, and it was just trying to hold on to the wheel so here we go he drifts out wide kind of takes my momentum I've got to cut back inside and I'm just thinking on these climbs just give it what I can here's the other killer move so we've got A line B line this is the A line everyone goes left faster to the right and he just push 
just what an overtake. I almost did that in the next lap or two, but I didn't quite have enough uh, kahunas to, to chop somebody up there. I'm, a, I'm still a bit too polite. But those two moves, fair play. <laughs> they were killer. Uh, but this was, again, a nice little punchy through the trees, uh, dancing on the pedals, up out the saddle. And the bike, oh, uh, yeah, I've, up, I've upgraded the bike, so still hardtail. But that cable we can see pointing out, that's the, the lock to the front suspension. Thank you very much, he let a few of us past. And that makes a world of difference having that at the end of your fingertips. Just locking the front out, but we've gone carb and hardtail just to save on the weight. Uh, hence the, the no dropper. So a long year, it was quite draggy and I did feel the, the seat post being down a couple of inches. Again, this is the guy with the killer moves. He just carries his momentum over there and passes this guy. I didn't quite, and again, I get caught uh, behind him as we go into this, uh, another piece of single track. This guy tries to undercut me, but he, he stalls. So I just nudge through here. We get the third A-line, B-line choice, and I opted for the B-line on this one. It was the, the rock line on the A's, and for me, that, that sort of carried too much consequence. I did it in the warm-up, and I was grinding my derailleur, my dinging my wheels, and as you can see, I'm straight back where they came in, so it was no quicker, I don't think, uh, but carried more, I suppose, more not jeopardy, but more, more consequence if he went wrong, and if somebody dabbed, then the whole line would shut, and, and B-line would definitely be quicker. Uh, again, more single track, and this was a real sort of um, tuck and turn type course. You were just always on the pedals. It was plenty of action going on. As you say, we had six laps. Super vets five. Vets in front of us had six as well. So there was about a hundred riders, I think, in all on the course. And then this was the back sort of climb. That guy, look at him. I was just, what's he on? An e-bike? I mean, it was just a killer, so I thought, right, let's try and uh, keep, get on the pace. We haven't done a lap yet, but I thought there's a good chance now. There's a nice long fire road to try and pass as many as we can. There's the guy in the grey with his two killer moves. I thought, right, we'll get past on the... on the. F and I just thought this is another... Good couple of uh, wheels to follow here. Yeah. The yellow. I'm not sure if he was the one that came flying past earlier. But uh, I thought, right, try to do what you can. And then again, it's you know this is like a three bike wide really. But when they when they ride in in pairs, it's hard to sort of nudge past. So now it's a game of do I go left? Do I go right? Take your take your odds. I thought I'll go right. Uh, and this time it paid off because he seemed to pull through a bit quicker. Uh, and it was the right line to take. So, you know, place your chips, take the gamble. Uh, and I just thought, right, keep kicking on, let's get past. Let's try and pass as many as we can now before we get back into any single track. Because you, you pretty much couldn't pass on the single track, but on the fire road, there was pretty much plenty of chance. Uh, and I'm just mindful, this first lap, we've got to try and keep with as far front as we can. Uh, but yeah, definitely suffered along here during the race uh, with the saddle not being all the way up. Uh, and towards the end, my, my knees were, were feeling it. But this single track was, yeah, it was good fun. It was, it was immense. I was a bit untidy on this first lap. I've done one warm-up lap. And though this is my first lap where there was a couple of little lines, I don't know if you just saw it then, that I was missing. But as the race went on, I started to take them. But this is my second ride on the bike so I'm still getting to know the bike I've set the suspension up the brakes uh, had to, took it to the shop and I put a new front bearing in the front wheel that was the only thing really not sure if we're gonna need a new bottom bracket making a bit of a noise but that might have just been that it's, it's stiffer and there's a bit few more rattles and noises going on uh, but this is just coming to the end now this is the last climb coming up the end of the lap before we have a little bit of a fire road sprint and a flat turn into the start finish straight so I thought okay I've passed quite a few so uh, here we go lap two um, and I'm just thinking right we got past yeah quite a few let's let's head down now let's try and keep this effort up there's uh, there's the front boys just up there on the left then try to come around I shouted left 
Then he thought, no, he's, I wouldn't say he squeezed me out, but yeah, he had a little look. He probably thought, well, who are you? But maybe I wasn't shouting loud enough. So this time I thought, right, this, this Ben, he's going inside. I'm going to go outside. Hopefully we can carry a bit of speed out or we'll cut back on the inside. And it didn't quite work as planned, but I thought, right, I'm, I'm on the outside. Let's just put the armor down. This is where I lost the space on the first lap, so that I'm, I'm taking somebody back. Uh, back into some single track through the ferns. You know, these are all blind bends, just throwing the bike in. She turns so quick. Nice short wheelbase. You know, she's about 10 kilos in weight. So, you know, she accelerates when you push her on the pedals, you, you get that response. And yeah, I was loving this. Lap two, I was flying. I thought, right, there's nobody in front, so I need to try and catch whoever's in front of me. Uh, back into that first B, A line, B line. And this was just like a, a roller coaster ride down here. And I thought, if I keep pushing, eventually I'm going to find somebody in front and just need to keep passing. Whoever's in front, whatever they are, vet, grand vet, just keep pushing. And I'm mindful that the super vets are behind us, started a minute behind, and at some point they usually come past. But I'm, uh, I also want to make sure I'm counting up to six this time and, and get the full race finished. So back on the fire road, I can start to see uh, people in front, colours in front, so I just keep ticking it off, keep pulling them in slowly, bit by bit. So I know I'm doing pretty well, you know, the climbs are going okay. I'm keeping my speed up. But these these climbs were punchy, so you had to tend to get out and, and push on the pedals. They were loose if you went offline. So if you did come up against somebody, you're always torn between getting out into the loose marbly gravel and you're just losing traction or, or staying behind them until you get to a, a better bit. But anyone I passed, I tried to be a bit snappier and try to get past them a bit quicker. Yeah, nice bit of fun in the single track. Does make your eyes go a bit, mine looking back at this. That was the, the A line for the rocks, and I always took the B line. But when it was clear, I did think, well, there's nobody in front of me, so it's probably going to be faster to go through the rocks. But it was a faster line in, but a slower line out, and the B line you were slower in, but you came faster out for this bit of a draggy climb. So it worked for me, I kept it. I kept it on the beeline for this one. Again, more people to pass. Time to start picking off some more. And yeah, probably to the middle of the race, I got, I got into what I would call racing. So passing and being passed and, and trying, to, trying to keep the efforts going. So I'm slowly reeling these guys in. It feels good as you come around a bend and you can see them getting closer. I just missed that left-hand line then, I would have straightened it up. But because I didn't do it in practice, I thought if there's a stump in there that I haven't noticed, same again, that I haven't noticed, I want to stay on the main line, uh, unless I see somebody do it and I'll follow them through. But it was good fun, this was an hour and 40 in all. Uh, Rich had a good first row start and I ended up I think a minute behind him eventually at the end. Uh, this guy I wasn't sure if he was vets or whether he was grand vets but starting lap three we basically uh, swapped positions a few times um, and I think here I was going for a gel haven't learned to eat on the go yet and this guy with the silver shoes again we swapped a few spaces back and forth and then these guys, I had somebody shout behind me and I thought, okay, the fast boys are coming through, pull over. And then they came through and I thought, well, hang on, they're in my race. I thought, right, I'm not having that. Uh, let's get past. So the one passes and he, I thought, I'll nip past him, but no, he gets the hurry up. So I thought, right, we'll follow him through. See if we can follow some lines. It's all nice and quick. Going a similar pace back down into the chute but this for me was proper racing proper cross country uh, the trail was amazing it was it was dry thankfully 
Uh, it wasn't particularly technical, but it was fast and a lot of single track and, and then punchy climbs. So, you know, I think the saddle was about right. Maybe it could have been a little bit higher, but it, it all worked out great. Uh, again, running different tyres. Um, so just getting used to the bike as well. And I think all things concerned or considered, you know, it was a cracking race. Uh, spoiler, I ended up finishing 12. So I was 12th out of about 43. This guy shouts, come on the inside, come on the inside, which is not the best bit of gravel. And I was like, what? He's, <laughs> he's killing me. So I get past this guy. This is about halfway around the lap. So that gel cost me these two places, really, and it's taken me half a lap to get back around him. But, but this guy in front, yeah, we're kind of keeping a similar pace. And I thought, well, I'll just keep following him. He was nice and quick up the hills. He was quick on the single track. I can't remember, I think he's on a full sus uh, and that just seemed to have a bit more traction in the bends and, and in that single track. I thought, yeah, he was straight out the saddle, punching up the climbs. We were still picking off other riders, so we were moving through the, through the track. As I say, I finished 12th, so I was really happy with that. I was a minute behind Richie, A-line, B-line, and I did consider just nipping past him on the right, because he slowed right down for the left. And I thought, oh, I better not, because if we come together at the bottom of this chute, that's not going to be great. So I just held back, and then he looked back, he went, go on, get past. And I, I said he was, uh, he was giving me a good, good wheel to follow, good pace. And he just said, you crack on. <laughs> so that was good. Uh, and then, again, this guy on the, on the Scott Hardtail, back and forth a few times, and I... I think he pushes on from memory, he just slowly pulls away and disappears, I try and follow him. And I don't know whether it was a lack of concentration, but every now and then you're, you're on somebody and then two minutes later you look up and you think, oh where's he gone? I haven't passed him, so he must have pulled away. And I'm now following the guy in the, the silver shoes that, that passed me all the way back at the, the start finish area when I was having a gel. So I've got to learn to... Uh, to have my gels a bit quicker. Again, we're just reeling back in on one of these draggy climbs. I'm just getting into my flow. Back over to start, finish straight, start in lap four. And this is where it all went a bit wrong in the last race. I was getting confused on whether I was, uh, oh, green green shirt. We, we pass in and out of each other a few times here, yeah? so we gotta got to keep him in mind. Uh, but I'm still ticking people off and I'm thinking, right, we're on lap four. I got around there, lap five, here we go. This was as far as I got last time. So I got lap five, really we've got two laps to go. I've got to swap my bottle, so cheers to Will for pitting me there. Now this sounds daft, but I always put my bottle in my left hand and drink with my left hand. Uh, but on this bike, I've got a, a right-handed bottle carrier. <laughs> as, as stupid as it sounds, it threw me. Uh, so yeah, that was the leader of the vets coming through, but as he shouted, I pulled over and the green one snuck past me. And again, I thought, well, that's not, that's not cricket, is it? You know, we've, we've pulled over to, uh, we've pulled over to let the main guy through and then he's nipped through. So I thought, right, I've got to get back after him, follow him through this single track. And by now I'm just, you know, my legs are burning, I'm hurting, my, my heart's pounding. And he went through the water, the mucky water. I thought, oh, he, he saved himself a second, but I thought, no thanks. I think everybody else I saw went round. But I'm determined now to get past back round him. You know, I've, I've seen a bit of red mist. Uh, we get past this guy, and I was like, there's no way he's getting away. I'm, I'm definitely on his wheel, and I'm going to hunt him down. So on these draggy bits, I just, just managed to carrying the momentum and sneak past and I thought we got a bit of single track A, B line, he took the A line, he was a bit quicker on his full sus, but to be fair then he yielded and, and led me through because I was carrying a bit more speed he was another one of the vets coming through and just yeah, oh, I couldn't believe I did this, so that right hand bottle carrier I went for a drink and I don't know, my, my right hand doesn't work as good as my left with the bottles. I dropped my bottle. The guy in green went back past. I've had to jump off. Now that bottle's pretty much full. I've only just picked it up half a lap ago. And I've still got one and a half laps to go. 
So I'm like, no, I need it, I need it. And this is about 30 seconds looking at the GoPro timing. So this was 30 seconds it's cost me just because I can't, I, can't, I can't use my right hand. And I'm right-handed. You know, it should be the easier hand, but I'm so used to using my left. So I've got to swap that bottle cage over. Anyway, I was back on. I hunted this green guy down again. I just thought there's no chance. No chance. I've got to get back on. I hunted him down. And then the guy in front is the eventual winner of the Super Vets. So here we go, end of lap five. This is where it went wrong in the last race. I thought, I've got to do lap six. So I've done that. And there's like, oh, hang on, the, the ribbon's across. No, no, he's, he's putting him in. I've got to keep going. So I've got my lap six, last lap. I asked the commissaires, I came past as well. I said, is this my last lap? Yeah, yeah, last lap. Right, right. This is it. And on the left, you could just see Richie. I was shouting a bit of abuse at him, telling him I'm coming, I'm, I'm catching him up, I'm, I'm hunting him down. <laughs> he was a good minute ahead of me mind. So there was no way I was catching him. But as he said, his legs were, it were done that day. This was one of his bad days. And this was one of my best days. And uh, I still finished a minute behind him, so fair play. He was 10th, I was 12th. So other than, you know, maybe the seat could have been a bit higher. Oh, squirrel out the way. Me and my bottle, you know, I could have been maybe that minute up with him. But that was it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please drop us a comment, like, and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.